Kia ora and welcome to 510 Introduction to Commercial Law. Together we will look at law that affects you in your everyday life, as well as learning new skills that can be used in both your personal and your business world. You'll learn how contracts work, what laws are there to protect you, and what you can do if you have a complaint or problem. When you are learning, always think about how the law that you're learning affects your everyday life. Because remember, ignorance of the law is no defence. This means that as part of New Zealand society, it's your responsibility to know what the law is. So what's in the course? There are five key outcomes that we need to learn. And you are assessed on both your knowledge of the law and being able to apply it to legal reasoning. For some of us, legal reasoning is a challenge to learn how to do. But don't be frightened of it. Once you've learnt it, it is a skill that you can apply in business. Legal reasoning is taking a given situation, figuring out what law governs that situation, and applying the rules to find out what the answer is. With the help of legal reasoning, lawyers can argue over the innocence or guilt of the defendant, who is right in a contractual dispute, and find out, for example, if you're liable for that bicycle that you hit when you're driving down the road. The five key areas that are in our learning outcomes are started with an introduction to New Zealand law. This is like a foundation or building blocks for understanding how law is made, administered and ruled upon in New Zealand. We will look at issues such as the Treaty of Waitangi, how our government is set up and the court structures that exist in New Zealand. Learning Outcome 2 is about your potential liability for damage that you may do to someone else's person or property. We will learn about the law of negligence and what a court can do to fix the problem. When you came to class today, you would have entered into a number of contracts, sometimes not realising you just have. If you were paying rent on your home, the tenancy agreements you have signed is a contract. If you purchased a drink or some food to eat in class, that is a contract. It is a contract between you offering to pay money for the drink or food and the shopkeeper agreeing to your offer and selling the food or drink to you. Then what happens if there's a problem with the food or drink? In Learning Outcome 4, we look at what rights you have as a consumer. If that drink makes you ill, are you entitled to a refund? Or are you entitled to more? Our final Learning Outcome 5 looks at different ways you can run a business in New Zealand. These different ways are called structures or entities. So we will look at business entities. Will you choose a trust, a company, run your business as a sole trader, or maybe with one of the other students, a partnership. The entity you choose in New Zealand makes a difference to how you pay tax, what happens in splitting profits, and how it all gets sorted out if your business doesn't quite work how you intended and you need to close. In our everyday lives, we are affected by the law. This paper looks at how you are affected. So always ask yourself, 
How does this relate to something I've experienced?